Brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez, the Men's Academy. Eustachius is not a common name, but that man was once a well-known early Christian martyr. To the ancient Roman world, one of the empire's leading men in the second century. Now, originally named Placidus, he was a Roman general and commander-in-chief before retirement north of Rome. When hunting, Eustachius had this vision of a crucifix between a deer's antlers, and he heard the voice of Christ. Placidus, why do you persecute me? I am Jesus who died for love of you and who will save you. And falling on his knees, he asked, what do you wish me to do? And his answer, go into the city, seek a priest and be baptized with your wife and children and then return here. So after instruction, taking the name Eustachius, he was baptized with his wife and two sons and returning to his home, our Lord appeared to him again and foretold that he and his family would suffer greatly. Now he was censured as a Christian and the Roman authority seized his property and separated him from his family. Later, Emperor Trajan called Eustachius out of retirement to lead the Roman forces into battle against the Northern barbarians. After victory and campaign, he was united again with his family. But Eustachius was expected to honor the gods with sacrifice after marching back into Rome. He refused to do so when he was condemned to die with his family by the new Emperor Hadrian about 140 AD. Now, initially he was thrown to the lions in the Colosseum, but these large cats acted like kittens. Later, the family was thrown to a bull-shaped card cauldron to be burned alive. Now, according to one account, while the, they all expired, their bodies were not charred. An eighth century church was built in Rome to honor Eustachius, and it's also where he's buried. It's a stone's throw from the Pantheon. Now, the iconic image of the crucifix between the antlers of a deer is prominent at the peak of this church. Eustachius' feast day is September 20th, and he is the patron saint of hunters and firefighters. Now, on the labels of Jägermeister liquor bottles, the symbol of the cross and the stag is found. Jägermeisters held St. Eustachius to be their patron, as they were German gamekeepers and foresters. St. Eustachius, pray for us. Brothers, God be with you.